<laughs> oh no, it's stacks. Stack is the measurement of pancakes. But how much is in a stack? Three is in a short stack, six in a tall stack. Whoa, look at that awesome tank. That awesome two cylinders on top of a cube. All right, all right. Need to explain something here. Two cylinders of health. You see, I've got really low health and no magic at all. And whenever you die, you lose one of your clovers. But anytime you want, you can go to your inventory and use a clover to completely restore your health and magic. And this guy right here behind the barricade always drops a ton of clovers. So he's a good restock point. So now I am fully stocked. Even got a good amount of money. So let's go find out what happened to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> After all that looting. Now looting is the first priority in any adventure game. You should know that by now. Vandalism comes second. <laughs> hurting people comes third. Then hurting innocent people. Come then rescuing people comes last. That's like 12 on the list after <laughs> arbitrary side quests. Yeah, well actually your side quest determines what I you say to people. You girl. talk to them. She's being escorted by two Gromoclones! Your wife is a young girl. Yeah. Well, he wasn't specific, so maybe he's just looking for a young girl. <laughs> well, there's two... You can marry one of two things on Twinson. You can either marry young girls or elephants. <laughs> Which would you choose? Pardon me, do you know where, any, where you can find some sailors? Yeah, so you get a lot of points like this. Oh, oh, it's Bob Bar! <laughs> it depends on how you conduct your conversations throughout the game. <laughs> as to which one you marry at the end. You get a lot of, of points into the game. Ah, oh, stupid furniture. <laughs> where you have to talk to one specific person to find a piece of information. I'm looking for a young girl. Can you kill yourself by running into walls too much? Yes, you lose hit points when you do that. And you can die. I do really and I'll help you find a drink. Ask the all right. You gotta help this elephant fall back off the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Elephants are riding horses now? <laughs> they have been the whole time. A planet where elephant horses evolved from men? <laughs> <laughs> I would like to buy a drink for the Grobo upstairs. Oh, yeah, just. I am 100% straight. <laughs> hey there, the elephant. Way. Can I buy you a drink? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just to recap the uh, the races here, so we can be properly racist. <laughs> uh, Bartender, fifty gallons of water for my new friend here. <laughs> the um, the human looking guys are quetches. The elephant looking guys are robos. The uh, uh, tall thin guys with the pointy ears, like this guy, like the waiter. They're called rabbi rabbi bunnies. <laughs> rabbi bunnies. Yeah, rabbi bunnies. I'm not making that up. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to be foxes or rabbits, but I don't know. Are rabbis? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> Brooklyn, there's thousands of them. <laughs> <laughs> the internet, for those of you who don't know, that's part of a joke. A, uh, rabbi walks in, a rabbi walks into a bar with a frog on his shoulder, and uh, bartender, after a while, says, All right, I, I got it now. Where'd you get that? Frog says, Brooklyn, there's thousands of them. <laughs> I told the version of that joke in one video and nobody laughed. It wasn't funny. <laughs> well, it was a frog and a, a uh, On what our was it? Goron's head. Goron, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so our, our destination now is the port. Ah, surveillance. Let's, let's go through this garden. How about you just not move? It's boring. Is that Dr. Fun Smock there? A fun Trock. <laughs> fun Smock. Doctor we have a new nickname. <laughs> Give him proper respect. He is Dr. Fun Trock. He is the mad scientist who runs the world. I'm on the wrong part of the map. You on the wrong side of town, boy. You can find uh, statues of Dr. Fun Frock all over the place. Some of them will be important later on. Do they talk to you? No. You just have to destroy them. It's like that Mac yeah, commercial where you throw the sledgehammer through the jump. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking more like the fall of the Soviet Union. <laughs> well, or the end of episode right, three, three where they tear down the statue of Palpatine. That's episode six. Oh yeah. All right, I need a ticket. Special edition. No, it's it's episode three. I don't know what 
the odd thing about this barbed wire is that it doesn't hurt you ever. <laughs> you can even jump on it. All right, well, apparently they don't know who I am, so I'll just go buy a ticket. I'm looking for a young girl. Don't tell them your intentions is buy a ticket. <laughs> I think you just be arrested for asking that. Stop me alive! It's me, it's me! Ah, Later girl. on, when the, uh... And I need to run away very fast, because this guy is green. Okay. Green means I cannot hurt them yet. Plus, his uh, gun shoots out little laser things. <laughs> so? The gun that shoots out bees. The gun that shoots out chainsaws attached to bees. So, we'll just do this the old way. My gun shoots out lasers that are made of chainsaws that also have bees attached to them. <laughs> that shoot out bees? Yes. <coughs> They're laser bees with chainsaws. <laughs> How do you get guys get so far off topic? <laughs> Just die to die with a laser beam! <laughs> Guaranteed to blow your mind. We're like Pinky from Pinky in the Brain. Oh, well, alright. And now we've got our mandatory block pushing puzzle. Alright, let's see how bad this crate pushing puzzle really is. Oh, well this is easy. Okay. So almost a kind before us and finished most of it. Yeah, how convenient for us. The elephant's just lazy. The guys who didn't have to do this whole puzzle. For the union. Mm -hmm. Longshoreman union really knows what they're doing. Yeah. All those seamen. Crusty, trusty seamen. Let's get the hell out of here. Let's get guys. Make like a pre rendered 3D character and get the fuck out. <laughs> All right, now we've got what we need to advance the plot. Awesome. And I could loot all those barrels, but I don't feel like it because it would take too much time. No true story to get back here. I uh, get the ticket on the bus, I actually had to. Push over three trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> and why would that? Why would you have to do that? I don't, I don't ask. <laughs> Homeless man asked you to. <laughs> yeah, that's a great Look ship. Look at that water, dude. That must have taken weeks to render. That's moving polygons and moving textures at the same time. So here we go. On to uh, Principal Island. Alright, here we do. Alright, let's commit random acts of violence. Well, you know, that's what you do when you're on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you go on vacation? What's in the case? <laughs> Give it to me! When I went on vacation to Hawaii, the uh, Wow Girls came up and <laughs> presented me with a. Flower garden. Yeah, in the box. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't pretty no more. <laughs> oh, come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Human shield. That was pretty awesome. All right, we're done with that. That's Why is that guy dying? He has a lot of hit points. Most of the innocent citizens have lots of hit points because you're not supposed to kill them. Smith, why are you late for work? I was getting off the ferry, and then this wizard guy started headbutting me, and then he sort of shot me for no reason. I don't know. You're fired, Smith. <laughs> Man, going through customs is such a pain. They're repossessing my house. And I have to murder three guards just to get inside here. He's gonna go home and try and kill himself. <laughs> He'll shoot himself in the head and survive. Paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. And there's the last one. <laughs> it kind of looks like a robotic, like, ibex from Egyptian mythology. <laughs> Get in the ocean. Back from whence you came. <laughs> <laughs> I bet he deserved that for some reason. Hey, what am I doing here? Just imagine he was a pedophile. Already done. Alright. <laughs> That's what was in that briefcase. 
Let's wander through this gate over here. Pedophile? A small child. <laughs> part of, part of uh, one. Oh, 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 I shouldn't be here. <laughs> Just the important parts. <laughs> wow, that that thing is uh, just humping that the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh. <laughs> They're tag teaming you. One is shooting you red shit, the other is green shit at you. That's good. Yeah. Oh, they're all closing in now. <laughs> I shouldn't be in this screen at all, by the way. I just wanted to show you how bad my ass would be kicked if I came over here. <laughs> Pretty thoroughly. Yeah, I've got like nothing left. All right. Let's run through this, uh, lots of minefield over there, we've got the barbed wire. Up on top here we've got the machine gun emplacement. More barbed wire, soldiers on patrol. So. Yeah, this is a fun place. But here's my friends, how's it going? Hey, uh, hey, what? Buddy. How you doing? Uh oh. Do you smell bad or something? Way to make me feel unloved. <laughs> Your young wife loves you. Awesome. Hey, how about this lady? Good day. I'm looking for a friend. She's escorted by two Robo clones. Robo clones. <laughs> Later on in the game, instead of a pallet swap, the enemies tougher. They replace the Robo clones with Robo clones. <laughs> <laughs> I use the, the, the robot terms interchangeably. It's like sometimes I'll say Robo clone, Robo, whatever. I'll just take a bunch of syllables and mash them all together. <laughs> awesome, I can get close enough to this guy if you go manual. Oh, that didn't work at all! You're dead! Yes. Uh, Maybe punching the robot, just made of metal, will work. Hey, it worked in that robot that I punched once. The sentry clan? Oh, with the, the hovering thing that shot homing bullets if you moved. Yeah, yeah. sentry clan. Yeah, that's what it was. I punched my robot, it broke. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Magnus Robot Fighter. <laughs> That's the last time I got my floors vacuumed. <laughs> Is that a euphemism of some sort? <laughs> your, your, Roomba's Roomba. in, your Roomba's in the corner crying <laughs> somewhere. I gotta trigger the, uh, the Never robot Never punch guy. a robot. Never. Yeah. Best time to stop robot oh, wait. Is before it starts. <laughs> I, th I think getting killed by the robot was good enough. Good day. The robot just fell down a flight of stairs. I didn't see her, but... Uh, Ran into a door. It's programmed to run into a door. <laughs> <laughs> Your bump sensor's malfunction. Got it? <laughs> She's going to be talking for a while. <laughs> you got a minute? Yak, 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 yak. Such a woman. But Tatiana, only Fetch, who secretly admired Stephen, has been trying for months to win the love of Tatiana, who refuses to talk to Christy since Holy he died. Crap. All the while, Stephanie She's still going. Yep. Discovered a letter from Paulina. Oh, good thing I was thirsty. Where was the box of clover leaf left behind by Roy? Dear God, woman. Shut up. Wonder if Linda knows. My good friend Gladys. <laughs> she's she's your third cousin. You know, when we met her at the bar mitzvah, no. she was, um. Not at all. <laughs> Yeah, seriously. <laughs> you explain all that better than I can. She lived on the outskirts of the old burg in a house next to the sea on Peg Lake. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's got, I gotta, I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> I've got, I've gotta go loot your house. <laughs> old burg on Peg Lake Street sounds like a <laughs> classy neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, judging by this woman's furniture, she does nothing but watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> she has no bed. She has to watch her stories. <laughs> Exactly this this is a weird TV. If you look at this TV, it'll play back all the uh, FMVs you've seen so far. But I don't feel like watching them right now. Can we watch the one where uh, Dr. Funfrock pitch slaps in? <laughs> I like that one. 